but I saw some stuff about BetterHelp the other day and I was like, what's this dumb stuff? So there's a small channel memeology and I saw one of his videos, I think it was about H3H3 and that was kind of ridiculous in and of itself. Many times do I have to say that I am not a drama channel? Not a drama channel? Not at all? <laughs> So there's this guy on YouTube called The Rewired Soul. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but this last year his channel has blown up pretty well. He makes videos about teaching and guiding people about mental health, addictions, disorders, etc, etc. He even has a slogan where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. Slogans are fun. <laughs> and my overall view of him became sour because for me, his videos went from actually discussing about mental health problems and solutions, and it became more about spreading gossip and tea. Chris has discovered that using popular YouTubers names and his video titles get some more views. So because of this, he started to create almost fake drama using YouTubers' names, and he creates somewhat of a false narrative with these people. A lot of the times he makes the drama out of thin air, like there's no basis at all. what's going on. I'm Alex as well as others have been under attack lately. The primary criticisms are that Alex never asked Slazo for his side of the story and that Alex has yet to apologize for helping to spread the narrative against Slazo. Whenever something like this happens, smaller commentary channels smell blood in the water. Immediately, more and more smaller channels started to dig into this story and now there are dozens of videos out there releasing more information about I'm Alex and everyone else involved. I actually discuss more details of this story in my book Cancelled, which is free, and here's a passage. There's this medium tier of commentary creators that consists of creators who have anywhere from tens of thousands of subscribers to a few hundred thousand. This community often bands together to create the moral standards of the internet with claims of holding others accountable. They see it as their duty to hold larger creators like I'm Alex accountable while nobody is holding them accountable. This first creator during his videos, creating them about I'm Alex and Hyojin, this creator passed over 100,000 subscribers, all right? Now, if you notice, there was a big, big, big red number for views because this creator sent out this tweet. They said, these videos aren't gone, they're just unlisted for now. Hyojin has tweeted and said multiple places that she is going to take her life. Her friends are concerned as well. They won't be gone forever. Here's another example of someone who has gotten a huge increase in views since making videos about the I'm Alex and Slazo situation. This creator's subscriber count has almost doubled. Next, there's this creator. And check out his subscriber numbers and his view numbers. They're skyrocketing. This final creator, a month ago, he was barely, barely getting any views. He was lucky if he broke 100 views. Now, look at his videos and look how many views they're getting. He currently has over 4,000 subscribers and within the last month, he's gained 3,940 subscribers. <laughs> You better call a goddamn priest because that shit ain't natural. Good guess, but actually no. Less drama, more fun, and more enjoying gaming together than anything else. That's been my focus this year, okay?